Oh my god. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering... Fingering a criminal? Whoa. Whoa. You did a good job of fingering a criminal. That, whoa, whoa. That would make him a rapist. Technically, a, a child molester. But out of curiosity, what was their crime? Um, Regina gave a pepper cover scarf the bat as a present. What's the crime in that? There is no crime. It's just an accident. She, she could, there was no way she could have known that was going to happen. It still seems the judge doesn't get it. Mr. Phoenix Wright, wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? Look at that, Franciscan knows what's up. Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like he was smiling. Lion smile? I had never heard of them smiling, however. Lion sneeze. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lion didn't. Leon didn't plan on biting bad at all. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. <sighs> lions actually, I'm going to Google this. I'm going to go ahead and Google that because lions sneezing just don't sound logical. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he sneezed because of all the pepper spread on the scarf. What? You fool! Oh my god, oh my god, lion sneeze? Is this even possible? You've got to be kidding me! Objection. What's the matter, Miss Von Karma? I I object for objection's sake, okay. I object because objection. Ha! <laughs> Mr. Phoenix right? you, this theory, you believe it? You really plan to say this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do, it's the truth! The lion sneezed due to the pepper and that's when Bat lost consciousness. Acro nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot! Hmm. So it's a joke of an accident to you, huh? So you, so, so you think it's a game out here? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. To think that there was someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that what I said was true? Acro, you don't mean you can't mean witness. Are you confirming the defense's claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. What do you mean by that? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's a bit, it's a bit hard to swallow. Not to mention that the fact that there's even a bigger problem with your theory. What would that problem be? The same problem has always been evidence. If I drop Max's bust on top of the ringmaster, where's the evidence that proves the claim? Oh, <laughs> oh. You mean the conclusive evidence? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof, to be more precise. Murder weapon. The bust that the defense claims was used. If that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. The bust. Nick, you gotta do something. This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. See how things work out first. Request to search Acro's room. See how things work out first. What's the point of searching Acro's room? Let's see how things work out first. It might be worthwhile to search Acro's room, but... Why aren't you going to search his room? It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Because Von Karma was in her room. What was in his room? Wouldn't she have found something like that? Now you know the true meaning of Von Karma total justice. I guess. I figured with you, that's the least I should expect. You leave no stone. You leave no stone. You leave no stone 
Unturn. <laughs> Yo, I'm ready for a break. I've been playing for two hours straight right now. Or an hour and a half. Hour and a half straight. With like, maybe like, I don't know, I guess a three minute break involved. A Vaughn Karma never leaves anything to a chance. We already searched Acro's room yesterday. What did you find? There's no reason to even say it. Even if he found what you think we found in that room, Acro wouldn't... Would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bus was not in the room. Huh. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Um, I just noticed like some of this is out of alignment, so give me a second, guys. Nah, I'm gonna leave it alone. Cause if I'm if I mess with it right now, it's gonna fuck over the entire the entire thing. My bad. I was going through uh, not XSplit, but OBS is what I'm using to record this uh, playthrough, and like the visuals is not aligned correctly with the layout. Cause there's like a, a huge chunk. Yeah, whatever, whatever. Just understand that I'm like looking at how it's aligned, and it's like really not aligned perfectly. Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise, and we took Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. End the story. Just wait a second, something's funny about all this. <laughs> Looks like the coupe de gras in this case was ever so sweet. Just wait one minute, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the important evidence here is about the death of the Ringmaster. I think you should remember that. Ah! Do something, Nick. Don't let this case slip away. The bus, where is it now? Where's the bus right now? There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the bus is? Did he toss it out the window and it's covered in snow? It seems as if this case is coming to a close. The defense counter arguments look to have fallen short. Yes, bravo, bravo, thank you for your support. Ah! Now, if you please excuse me, Mr. Wright. I think that brings to an end the cross-examination of this witness. Wait, did I lose? Oh, nope, hold it. Who said it this time? Where's Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its lace. I mean case. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous and I just bit my tongue. What? We need time to do what? Ah, we need... <laughs> Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really ha have a case to present, Mr. Wright? What? Is he talking to me? The rest is up to you, Nick. Good luck. Hey, but you can't be serious. Acrobats always have their lives to be... Ugh. Acrobats always have their lives on the line, don't they? That's how Acro lived his life up until now. Now it's time for us to walk across our own tightrope. Gavel! Very well. The fence may proceed. Ugh. He doesn't have a clue. And I don't think he'll be finding one anytime soon. Walking the tightrope of logic, there's no room for a false step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. I got that whip ready. The murder weapon, where's Max's bus now? Somewhere in the lodging house. No, they already looked everywhere, so it wouldn't be there. Somewhere in Big Top, they, they did their investigation. So, so if we put our full, if we just put our full belief that the police did their job and investigated everywhere, everything of the circus, let's just assume that they did their job and investigated very thoroughly. The last option we would have would be option 
Is that two? No, that's three. Option three, somewhere in this courtroom. <laughs> it probably is. It has to be. Because the other two, I don't think would be it. Let's go with it. We got, we got two choices to make. And I'm thinking, option three is the best chance we have. So, YOLO. It's obvious the bus is inside this very courtroom. It's obvious? Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bus once? Oh shit, the judge's bench, the prosecutor's bench, the witness, the witness's wheelchair. Wait, his wheelchair? The prosecutor. <laughs> you know what? Francisca could be hiding it. She'd do whatever it takes to win, right? I know the judges wouldn't have it. The prosecutor's bitch. The witness's wheelchair. I mean, if it was on his wheelchair, wouldn't someone have noticed? Well, we got two choices here. We got two choices here, so let's say the witness chair. We got two chances, I should say. Acro. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take the blanket off your wheelchair? Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy, and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems to me that it'd be very easy to say... Hide a bus under there. <laughs> Once again, your penchant for human hits me where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bus is under there. We all know that you couldn't leave the lodging house by yourself in your condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Gummer happened to search your room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again. Could you please remove your blanket for, or from the wheelchair? Well done, Mr. Rice. Masterfully played. You, you fool! How could you? What are you yelling at? Damn. You got me. I've been bagged by a true pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them. Miss Franziska Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? There was, there were two pieces of decisive evidence, the cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away from the trash, with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust, obviously I can't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. He got set up for the okie doke. It was unintentional, but he got set up for that okie doke real hard. And by the way, I never mentioned this, but... How you guys like the new layout? I think it's really smooth. Miss Von Karma, you had this all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now they be caught in the middle of court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. You going to jail now, Acro! So you got me. Well done, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. It all makes sense now. I can't believe that Miss Von Karma thought that far ahead. I don't think she did. Her reactions were too genuine for that. I don't think she really thought that far. I know I sure I couldn't. I know I sure I couldn't. I can't believe it. I failed. Why did I order a surprise search of your room if only I hadn't done that? What are your... What? What are you saying? It doesn't matter now, though. It seems as if we've arrived at the truth. Why would she say that? She only wants to win. 
She don't care about the truth. Agro? Yes, your honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Barry Big Circus, Mr. Russell? Yes, your honor. I'm responsible for that crime. Acro. All my brother did was want Regina to like him. That's why he'd tease her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it'd be funny to get him back in the same way. And that's why she covered the scarf in pepper. I know she didn't want anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a few times too. But I just couldn't forgive her no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? I'm guilty of never ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star. Regina believed in that so purely. It was an insult. She would laugh innocently when saying it too innocently. I just couldn't stand it no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. What did you... What do you mean by that? So are you trying... Are you saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? No. That's not what I mean. <laughs> I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. At first I thought I'd kill myself. And I probably gave it myself up. But I couldn't just stop and leave. I was just kidding. <laughs> I tried to tell you so bad. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. I, I just I just cannot believe. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> This sexy flexy ass nigga crying in my courtroom. This has been such a strange case. It's almost a reflection of the circus itself. I'm an idiot! I can't believe it! You beat me again? Yup, 2-0, 2-0! Ha ha! First of five wins! <laughs> I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. Not guilty! Yeah! 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 My nigga Max Free! <laughs> this court <laughs> is adjourned. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry guys. December 30th, 4.27pm District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 5. 52 pickup! Fabulous! Fabulous 52 pickup is the name of his attack. <laughs> But to be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Acro, the ringmaster, Regina, and Batch. Not a single one of them was a bad person inside. It sucks. That's a good question. And one I don't know the answer to. Congratulations! Congratulations, Mr. Max! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's with the vibe in this room? We're just thinking about Acro. No, 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 no. If you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. <laughs> it's all my fault. Sweetie pie, sweetie, sweet, sweetie. Oh, don't cry like that. Bat and I grow. They're, they're never coming back. And now, now everyone's gonna split, everybody's gonna split up. Regina. Mr. Wright, tell me something. <laughs> what do you want to know, Regina? I can say something right at the end. I, I just can't not believe yet. Does that mean that Acro is he gonna try and get his revenge on me? Uh, would that mean that? I don't think so. Let's say I don't think so. I have a hunch? I have a hunch it's about his brother. I don't think so. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Are you sure? Are you really sure? I can believe that? Yup, Acro does have... doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. She actually got scared for her life. Then I want to see some evidence. Wow, she's scared right now. Acro said that all the time to you, so I thought it worked for me too. <laughs> Um, if, if I said what I just said was true, I think we would need to present his brother's profile. 
Here we go. Take that! Bat! Acro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. But 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 bat That's right. He's still alive, you know. He is, huh? But how now that Acro's been caught? Uh-huh. I know. What? I'll do it. I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes. Until he opens his eyes, and then until he can meet Acro again. That's so sweet of you, Vegeta. I'm sorry, Acro. Sorry, Bat. I'm sorry, Acro Bat. Well, hopefully, this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Sorry about what happened. So, whenever you like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. I understand. Such a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. What's going to happen to the circus now? Uh, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? So he took care of payments? Mo the clown? Or is, he, or is he the one in charge now? Even though he's not here anymore, everyone is sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. What is it? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. I'll turn this circus into the best circus this world has ever seen. The best circus the world has ever seen, huh? Don't laugh! Amazing. I can't wait! Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus the world has ever seen needs. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen! Max! Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous! I don't know what to say, man. All I can say is thank you. Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. Oh, they made a typo! Would be better off without me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, everybody makes mistakes, people. Everybody makes mistakes. Look at that typo. You see that typo? That typo was made by a nigga. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been watching too many, too much Boondocks. I've been watching the Boondocks, so you gotta forgive me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why do you think that I brought you to court today? Huh? We got to work together to make the very big circuits bigger than it's ever been. Mo! Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be the very big circuits without Regina Barry. Truly, it's true, though. Nick! It seems like everything is going to turn out all right. I can't wait to go see the best circuit the world has ever seen. 52 fabulous pickup! We'll save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm going to order special whoopee cushion seats. <laughs> that wasn't funny. It wasn't. Why are you laughing? Stop laughing. I see what made the case. Just like you thought, yesterday's search really paid off, sir. Um, you had it all figured out yesterday, didn't you? It was just a theory. If Acro really was the killer, I thought that this was the only way it could end. Who is it? Especially if he was the defense attorney. Who is it? Show us who he is! You mean Mr. Wright? Who is it? Who is it? Of course, well, Detective, my plan is about to leave. Do me a favor and try not to be too harsh on Acro. Once I get back, I'll make a stop by the Chief Prosecutor's office. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Edgeworth! Edgeworth in the house? Got a new get-up. He's got blue. Trying to be like Mega Man. He went from zero to Mega Man colors. Oh, shit. I got a feeling the next episode is going to be pretty fucking hype. Oh, farewell, my turnabout. Oh, snap. I'm ready, too. I'm about to take this, I'm about to take this lunch break. We're going to come back with all this energy. We're going to come back. We're going to be ready. We're going to be hyped. We're going to get it started next time on Phoenix Wright. So I'll see you guys soon.